Hello everyone. In the previous lab session, we designed the OFDM transmitter part of our system. Now, in this lab session, we're going to design the remaining receiver part of our system and test uh, the design uh, by simulating it to see if we our design works or not. So first, we remove this time scope. Now, after uh, transmitting the signal, we'll uh, pass it through an AWGN channel to test it with uh, against a noise. AWGN channel uh, is a uh, simulink block. It will test the signal against noise, against Gaussian noise. Let's uh, rotate it clockwise. Clockwise. Turn it with this. Uh, in the channel, we test it uh, in uh, SNR mode. And set the SNR 40 for IS quality. And let's remain the initial seed as uh, 67. Uh, then, after AWGN channel, again we pass it through complex to real imaginary because we'll uh, break it again into real and imaginary parts so we can process it through FFT. So we'll flip it. And also use Ctrl I to flip our blocks. Now, after complex to real, real imaginary, we'll use gateway in to interface it with our Xilinx block again. Gateway out, gateway in. We we'll flip it. We need two of these. So I'll duplicate it. Connect. In the gateway in block, uh, automatic tag will be signed fixed point with uh, 1615. Binary point at 15, number of bits 16 because this is the number format that uh, fast forward transform block will accept. And sample period will be 4 because as we are transmitting 4 bits parallelly, we will take all those 4 bits at once. So we will take sample period 4. They are also same. Number of bits 16, final point at 15. Now we'll add some registers for passing it to password transfer block. So settings of the register will be default. Now for uh, FFT block you can just uh, copy this block and uh, duplicate it because uh, nearly all the settings are same. Only we we'll need to change its function from IFFT to FFT. Leave the block with all this. Now, uh, before uh, sending to register, we'll uh, convert our input. We we'll convert it into the format the fast word transform takes in case it is different. Do we have made the uh, 1615 gateway in? We again ensure it is the same. 15. We'll add a latency of 1. In 15, we'll add a latency of 1. Then we we'll connect it. For the rest of the inputs, we can again copy this five and duplicate them. We we'll just flip them all. We we'll just flip them all. And now connect this. Nearly all the settings are same. We only need to change in uh, forward inverse. <coughs> it will be one, uh, so that uh, this fast forward transform will calculate FFT. 
and scaling scaling will be not 15 but just one zero 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 one and the number of bits will be the same because we do not need to upscale here and uh, in the start we will uh, connect uh, a delay in the start we'll connect a delay Let's make it a little small and this delay will be connected with the e down signal of the IFFT block so when the IFT is done calculating uh, it will uh, send a pulse to the uh, FFT block so that it can start processing after receiving the signal we will increase delay by 2 2 then now we'll uh, take the output now we'll terminate all the external uh, signals so we can bring it here Clip. We do not need other signals, we will just need the two outputs, real and imaginary. Now, we connect these uh, two outputs uh, to 16 quam demodulator. So, for demodulation, we are going to use the uh, M code. So, we will need M code block, which will take M code code that we have prepared already. You can uh, get it in the resources. We browse and then you can see here is the QAM 16. The more lesson you can also see the code. Uh, this is the code. You can inspect it. Uh, this demodulates our 16 QAM mapping. So this takes three inputs real imaginary input and one for threshold. For threshold will provide a constant. A threshold will be 0 0.25. Uh, it will be uh, 5 with binary point 3 for precision and the value will be 0 0.25. Now when we connect this to the real and this imaginary since uh, our system is in uh, still in parallel. Uh, we'll uh, use parallel to serial converter to convert the data stream into serial data stream. So parallel to serial at the end. Let's increase our design area. Parallel to serial. This will connect a uh, number of bits will be one one bits seriously now connect the gateway out and uh, connect the scope let's connect and scope and see simulate the signal and see if we get the output So as you can see, we have received the signal. Uh, it's in zeros and ones. So our OFDM system is working. We're getting zeros and ones. Uh, we can also add wave scope and check the various uh, signals. So this was our OF GM uh, trans receiver. Now let's uh, make it a little more visually pleasing. Uh, we can uh, put uh, all this uh, 16 quam uh, modulation components into a subsystem so we select this and right click and group them create a subsystem from selection we can also use shortcut key control z now the subsystem is created we can name it 16 quam modulation we can also put this our ifft into a subsystem
block call it IFFT because this block processes IFFT function convert this into again a subsystem let me see we can bring the signals inside and again the signals inside so This is more cleaned up. And uh, this uh, inside uh, testing com demo lesson. Make it a little bigger. So we can name this uh, subsystem. This is our FFT portion, and this is our action com demo lesson. One demo lesson. So now we'll uh, connect both the input and output and check the error rate. We can calculate the error rate our our system by using error rate calculation block error rate calculation block it takes the input and uh, output frames and uh, using uh, error rate calculation formula it will check the difference between them so in the error rate calculation uh, we will uh, make a port uh, receive delay will be 1670. We can uh, see receive delay in the workspace. So you 700 will be the computation delay. It will wait for uh, 700 data points uh, before starting the calculation. I'll connect the receive receiver and from the transmitter and connect it. So for the receiver and delay, we can see in the wave scope. We'll add wave scope. So in the wave scope, uh, let's add uh, this gateway out, gateway out output, and add gateway in output. So upper is gateway in, below is gateway out. So if we run it in the wave scope, let's hit it. So if we put our cursor, we can bring it here. So this is our receiver. So here you can see that our receive delay is 1676. 1676 is our receive delay. So after this latency period, it will receive the data. This into 1676. And now if we calculate, we can see the error rate. The difference between of our input and output as you can see the error rate is quite high because we are this is just a basic OFGM system we still need to uh, make synchronize and uh, do timing it will be a little more advanced for this lab session this is our just a basic overview of an OFGM system using system generator thank you